Okay. Get that on zero. All right. So we're demonstrating indicator sag. <laughs> That's ten thousand. I'll get it right side up. Yeah, I've seen within half. A lot of guys, you see guys, a lot of machinists will, they'll go side to side. Like they're checking a hole, if it's side to side, it's pretty, you know, usually comes back to zero. But when you flip it all the way over, is when all this weight, all this stuff sags, uh, even it, they've got that uh, Drake uh, indicator that you turn the stem, not the indicator. Uh, I forgot what they call that damn thing. But, uh, coax coax yeah, what about a coax? With those? Yeah, because the indicator better, doesn't... better than this, but I've had I've had issues with those things too. I did a big job down in Mexico at a big plant that moved down here. They made intake and exhaust manifolds, and we acted as millwrights. My crew putting in these big machines and. The owner of the company, that's the way they'd always done it, they indicated holes on fixtures on these slides with a coaxial indicator. Well, it worked good if you can use the coaxial indicator stem that's like two inches long. But if you use their longer stem that's inside their box, it, oh, it, 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 it multiplies the error by about 100%. And so you're over there trying to indicate that long stem, and then you, you, you see it's out. 20,000, so you put 20,000 shim, and then some of it's be like that over there, it's out 100,000 then. So uh, I don't really like those. I'd rather see you use uh, some sort of pins on both sides and then indicate between the pins. But that's where a laser would be real handy.